Ernie knew that change was difficult in the best of times. If only stakeholders could appreciate the benefits he suggested. Ernie worried that people wouldn't understand the desperate need for change in education. People are divided like never before, he thought. Trust in traditional institutions and people are eroding. And this worried Ernie. He often wondered if he was wasting his time sharing his ideas. And maybe he was. Only time would tell. But Ernie concluded that if he didn't try, when he could have tried, then that would be bad because he was wasting the gifts and talents that he was given. And that worried Ernie. Ernie recognized how destructive negative thinking could be. Well, welcome back to A Plea for Help, Part 2. Uh, we start off with who can help. Uh, number one on my list is why not you? Uh, parents and students are at home. Now is an opportunity to start thinking like your teacher. Number two is student teachers. This whole program was designed originally with them in mind as my primary audience. I want to go around and encourage professors for student teachers to study a smart way in universities and bring it in through kind of uh, the front door. Retired teachers, why not put some of your best lessons? Just follow this model and put some of your best lessons on online. Classroom teachers, we have some time on our hands these days. This is the time to start populating a lesson plan bank in your district and with each district doing this, we should have uh, quite a collection of quality lesson plans for all teachers to draw on at the end of the day. Now, parent volunteers have a big part here in that you can really help by making materials for the way game for classroom teachers and also monitoring play. Now, let's get to what this is all about and what this is about is making lesson plans using a common template. So what I say here is my sample lesson plans have 18 advantages. And what we're gonna do shortly is look at those advantages as we go through and learn our lesson. Let's resume our look at smart way lesson plans. The first section here are Cap notes. we'll be learning all about the power of cap notes, but essentially this is a nine step planning process for teachers. And it's also used by students, but we'll talk more about that later. Next section is audio video. Uh, I have two links to videos that are, are really good for this topic of regions of Canada. And I also have a link to uh, Google Earth because we're going to use that tool. A couple of songs off YouTube uh, representing our main themes of uh, the West and the East. And uh, we have a bunch of activities that we're going to be looking at in my sample lesson. Now, the first pull tab, we have our curriculum objective, which I cut and paste out of OneNote. There's another video and we'll show you how to do that. Project-based learning. So we want to make a Q&A on Alberta tourism video. So that's a possible activity. Next we have select procedures. Now here we have a number of different activities students can choose from uh, and this way differentiating, differentiating instruction by themselves. Or substitute teacher lesson. What else we have here? enrichment so you can change the text on these pull tabs it's just a little tricky so over here what do we have focus questions and we have first day activities things you can do quote of the day joke of the day what's your wow factor and you can put a little something about the author here. Now this is 
and really what students are going to be asked to do in every single lesson and that is to create questions and activities from their lessons and put it into the seven games of wave so for example answer it define regionalism act it act like you're burying a treasure draw the blue nose spell anti ganesh find or, or discover halifax with 20 questions and the debaters are going to be talking about alberta bound or blue nose the two songs that we did and build a bridge with books for a move it challenge kind of thinking about the pei bridge right here we also have some other traditional graphic organizers little charts we can do uh, but lots and lots to do now remember what we're trying to do here is learn how to make game cards learn how to play the way game but also how to put together a smart lesson we're going to be jumping around a little bit in this lesson um, it's just meant as an overview for now Let's begin with the end in mind. We want students to learn how to make and share their game cards. Um, essentially, this is the front side with the graphics. This is the back side with the Q and A's. And they all come from our drafting of the questions from our lessons. So our game cards reinforce what we learn in school every day. Now we're going to be talking about game cards a lot later on in the site so we're not going to dwell too much on them now. And the same thing for cap notes. Uh, there are complete lessons on cap notes but know this we have a system for processing information that teachers use to plan and students use to summarize so here we see our graphic organizer our cap note graphic organizers that students will be using in class to summarize their learning and here we have another lesson i was working on you see i've minimized all my audio visual and i just moved my q a uh, graphic organizer up and this is what we're we're going to be focusing on making questions for our game cards. And this is what I'm going to encourage everyone to do is to start making game cards. And the first one you're going to make has to do with you, about you, and all about your life and, and what you like to do and where you, where you like to go. But remember this, and in the end, in difficult and in good times, a smart way to learn works. And so will you.